So hi hello everyone welcome to the channel and today I will show you how to view and edit attribute table in RGIS Pro. So in our previous video I have shown you how to create and edit a feature class in RGIS Pro. So in this video I will show you how to view and edit an attribute table in RGIS Pro. So let's get started. So in our previous video we have created the different features in the study area called Chennai. So you can clearly able to visualize you created many features in this study region. So this is one of the feature called this is a river called Kuam River in Chennai. So we have uh, we have digitized the this Kuam River in the study region Chennai. We have drawn a polygon over this Kuam River, and similarly we have uh, digitized uh, several different uh, uh, buildings. For example, this is a Chepak Stadium in Chennai. So have we have uh, drawn a polygon around the stadium. So now similarly, let me show you other uh, other buildings. So here. This is another building. So it's a mall called uh, Express Avenue. So it's a mall, and uh, let me show you other buildings, other features in the study region. So here, so you can visualize here. So this particular feature that is located in Ganapati Colony. So it is called. It is a playground, and we have three other features in the study region. So that is close to our Marina Beach. So here, there is a. We have a drawn a polygon around a triplicate railway station. And we have drawn a polygon around a playground, and similarly, we have drawn a polygon around a swimming pool close to Marina Beach. So now, to view these different features, we have to go to the option called our layer, that is Demo Features. Right-click this feature, and go to the option called Attribute Table. So now we can visualize the different features in our study region. So we have a total of around 25 different features in our study region. So here it is represented. That is, we have around 15 uh, different polygons. So that is 15 different features in our study region. So now let me close this. So now we have a variety of different features. So we have variety of different features starting from here. We have a Kuam River. So here there is another building called a mall. And uh, let me show you another building. That is, this is a stadium, Chek Park Stadium. So suppose we want to mark a vegetation. So for that, go to the option called uh, Edit section. Go to the Edit section. Click this option called Create. So now uh, go to the option called Create Features. Now click this layer called Demo Features. So now click this option called Create a Polygon Feature. So now let me draw a polygon around this vegetation. So I will draw a polygon around this. So to complete this polygon, double click this. So now to save the uh, to save the change we have made. So go to the option called this particular option. So here save. So now the changes you have made are added and we have created a new feature. So in order to save this particular feature, click this option called save. So now let us view this particular feature in our attribute table. So for that, click this option called demo features. Right click and click this option called attribute table. So now we can visualize our uh, 16th polygon. So here, the 16th polygon. Let me click this. So it, uh, it is now it will be highlighted here. So suppose we want to highlight a different feature. Click this option. So it will highlight that particular feature. So now uh, you can visualize this particular feature. It is highlighted in this blue color. So here, it is highlighted here. So it is uh, one of the building. So now let me close this. So you can see a uh, different features been uh, we have created a uh, different features in this study region called Chennai. So you can highlight these different features in different colors. So let me show you that. So for before that, let us. Uh, so first, let us look up what is an attribute table is. So go to the option called Demo Features. So right click, go to the option called Attribute Table. So the attribute table looks like a spreadsheet. It contains the rows and uh, rows and columns, and it got the information about of every single sh shapes. So basically, it got the uh, information of every single features we have digitized uh, here in the study region. So it got uh, information about this uh, river, river called Kuam. So similarly, this uh, Chepak Stadium. Let me select this particular feature that, that is our Chepak Stadium. So go to the map section. 
and click the select option. Now let me click this shape file. So the polygon is here highlighted. So we got information about this particular polygon about the shape length and shape area. So this particular it has information about this uh, features. So you can click any of this particular any of this particular row. So let me click this. So it is uh, it getting highlighted here in blue color. So now let me click another row called uh, number six. So now it is highlighted. That is our feature called Goom River. So now you can also select the particular feature from this uh, from our uh, features. So you can uh, select this particular uh, feature and gets highlighted in our attribute table. So for that, click this option called select. So let me select this. Click this option called select. Now let me click this particular building. So it gets highlighted in our attribute table. Let me get down. So here the number 12 polygon it has been highlighted so you can select the features here and it gets highlighted in our attribute table and you can view the different information about it for example the shape length and the shape area and this attribute table is really an important because it holds the information about this particular feature so you can also give a different uh, information about this particular feature for example this is a mall so you can add a new field called area you can enter the area and also you can uh, give the different uh, you can give a different fields regarding the number of car or uh, number of car parking that is available in this particular mall you can create a field called uh, number of uh, number of car and you can give the uh, information regarding the number of cars that can be parked in parked in this particular mall so you can uh, view those information just by clicking those uh, just by uh, selecting these features so object ID is a unique identifier in the attribute table for your features. So for example, the 21 here, the 21, the object ID, uh, it uh, shows the this particular feature called mall. So basically the information about the different features in our study area are called as a geospatial information because this each of the fe feature provides a different information to the to us. So for example, this particular mall has a uh, around uh, 300 parking uh, spots so it gives us information so for so in this way you can create a number of fields uh, you can input a variety of information about this uh, mall and just by clicking but just by selecting this particular feature you can view all the information about this mall so this information also called as a geospatial information and suppose if you want to clear the selection uh, we have selected this particular polygon suppose if we want to clear the selection you can just click, click this option here clear selection or you can click this option here clear so let me click this option so the selection has been removed so the sh object id shape shape length and shape area and this each of the shells these are also called as a field in the attribute table so object id is a field shape is a field and shape length is a field and shape area is also a field so now i could like to create a field called uh, feature type so feature type here indicates the uh, type of feature for example we have a uh, feature called a river so we have a feature called that is a building that is Che Park Stadium is a building and similarly we have a mall called a building and uh, we have a, a vegetation is being drawn around this particular area that is a vegetation so this feature type is vegetation so I could like to name this different features a name so uh, let me create a field called a feature type so before you add a before you add a field into our attribute table make sure that you go to the option called edit and save click this option called save save edits and after that the uh, add symbol will be highlighted so now click this option called add so add field so now you can create your field uh, let me uh, type a name called feature type so I entered the field name as feature type so make sure that you select the data type so here we are I have, I'm going to name the different features in our uh, in our study region so for that I'm going to select this particular uh, data type that is text so we're going to use only the text suppose if you want to use the numbers you have to click to make sure that you click uh, int that is short or long suppose if your number has a decimal place you can click float or double so in this condition in this case i'm going to click this option uh, data type called text so we're going to enter only the name so for that the data type will be text so the length is here indicated in 255 so now 
click this option called save so the new field will be created which will be indicated in this attribute table we can uh, visualize it now so now you can visualize the feature types is indicated so now uh, let me close this so you can uh, visualize the different features I have created that is indicated in this uh, in white color so uh, let me show you this so here this particular feature is a so this particular feature is a vegetation now let me click this so it gets highlighted in our uh, attribute table so you can uh, to view the selected item you can click this option called show the selected records so it shows only the selected records so now you can type the feature type let me name as a vegetation so now I have named the, this particular feature as vegetation so now let me uh, select this particular option so we have a total of 16 uh, different features in this particular study region we have created so next uh, let me select this particular feature let me click this it gets highlighted in our attribute table so click this option called show the selected records so it shows this particular feature is a mall so now let me enter as a building so it is a building the feature type it is a building so similarly let me get back to uh, other features too so let me click this particular feature so it gets highlighted here so it is highlighted here so it is a Park stadium it is highlighted here so now let me enter the name here uh, let me enter that building so uh, likewise let me select another feature so here we have our river called Kuam river in uh, Chennai let me click this so the particular feature will be highlighted so yeah so we have selected this particular feature that is Kuam river so now let me select this option show the, uh, show the selected records so let me enter the name as a river so now I have entered the feature type as a river so let me get back to this and similarly you can cl click the different features in your study region you can name uh, in uh, in this way so here we have another feature it is a swimming pool so let me click this particular feature it gets highlighted here yeah it is highlighted in this section object id 18 so let me enter as a building so now we can visualize that we have named the, all the different polygons with the respective feature type feature names so here the polygon one that is uh, this particular polygon one here represents building one and here this polygon 15 that is object id 15 represents a river so which is highlighted here so now let me clear this so suppose if you want to give a color for a different color to your features you have to go to the option go to your layer right click go to the option called click this option called symbology so here the symbology section has been displayed so now when the, here the primary symbology is indicated here click this option and choose the unique values so each of the different features can be uh, given a different colors so now let me select the field one that is the power field so let me select the field called feature types so we have three different colors so one is building here represented in green color and the river it is represented in this color and similarly the vegetation is here is represented in this color you can change the color let me click this so you can select the color for the vegetation is green and for the river you can select the color as blue and similarly you can select the color for building in uh, red So all the buildings will be highlighted in red color and the water will be highlighted that is the river will be highlighted in blue and the vegetation will be highlighted in green color. So uh, you can now give a different colors to your different features in your uh, study region. So in this video I have shown you how to uh, view and edit attribute table in ArcGIS Pro. So thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.